Hey, I have a hilarious story I ought to share with you today. Listen, so recently in Boston, a bunch of churches put together like a, a, a gospel concert, right? And a whole bunch of gospel artists and stuff were going to be there. Now, that part is really important. So the musician from the host church, right? He has quite the reputation for being arrogant. I mean, like incredibly arrogant. Like he looks down on other musicians who have lesser skills than him, makes fun of them, all that kind of stuff. Now, remember that, because that's important. So here's where things go left. During the concert, the keys player from the visiting uh, gospel artist, he approaches the band pit, you know, while arrogant dude was playing for his church. Um, and arrogant dude didn't know who he was. Now, I knew who he was. He's killing, okay? But arrogant dude talked reckless to the guy. You know, he's like, he's disrespectful. Looked at him like he was nobody because he didn't know him. Cool dude, I'm going to call him arrogant dude and cool dude. So arrogant dude was arrogant, but cool dude is this, this guy I'm talking about now. Cool dude didn't even respond to him. He just kept like preparing to play for his artist, right? So watch this. <laughs> Arrogant dude gets off his keyboard after he's done playing and pompously just walks to the back of the church, right? So cool dude sits down after him and notices the keyboard is transposed. He looked like this side to side. Mind you, he just got disrespected. So he quietly resets the transpose on the keyboard, right? But then he did the unthinkable, yo. <laughs> he popped the transpose buttons off of the keyboard. Like he, like with a little thing, he popped them off. So I'm sitting there like, yo, this is not gonna go well. Oh my God. So, cool dude proceeds to play for his artist, and he kills it. I mean, I knew dude was. I'm not saying names because I don't want to out people, but he popped the stuff on keyboard, and he kills it. Everyone was like, oh my God, dude's killing it. Arrogant dude sees how killing he is, right? So, he realizes he messed up. So, he tries to go up to dude afterward and say, hey, man, you know, hey, cool dude, you know, I apologize, man, if I came at you earlier and all that, I apologize. Man, my bad. What's your name, bro? Cool dude was like, yo, don't worry about my name, bro. He's like, by the way, I just did you a favor. But you shouldn't be so cocky when you can't play it on your keys. He's like, what? Now, cool dude leaves concert because the artists have to fly in and fly back out, right? So he's gone. And other people who could play after him, you know, they play. Um... But when Arrogant Dude gets back on the keyboard, he goes to try and transpose for to play. And he notices what happened. And when I tell you, he crapped his pants because he couldn't play in the real key of the song his church had to play. And everybody now knows, everybody knows how arrogant he is. Everybody knows. And man, he stunk. He couldn't play. It was terrible. And that day, that day, he lost all credit, like all that arrogance and stuff. He was playing good, you know, because he was playing a couple keys. Man, he got humble that day. Oh, you know, a valuable lesson. But anyway, now you see why you shouldn't transpose. I mean, well, you also see why you shouldn't be arrogant. But you definitely shouldn't be arrogant when you uh <laughs> when you can't play on your keys right so lesson of the day is guys don't transpose and uh if you want some help from me and the team i finally getting you to play in all your keys just book a session with us below we'll show you the system that we use to help you actually play in all your keys fluidly and to make it easy it doesn't have to be intimidating or anything like that all right so book a call with us below we'll get you killing make sure you play in all your keys and if you do decide to become arrogant one day at least you earned it okay peace